Well, seven minutes of added time. Well, that might just give the away fans something to grasp onto. Slough will press forward, but Hereford have got seven minutes here to try and uh, try and make something of this uh, of this afternoon. After all, but uh, at the moment it's Slough in possession. It's a high lofted ball forward from George Wells, and it's out for a Hereford goal kick. I think we could probably be playing for seven days and not score a goal. Unfortunately, we got uh, full time scores in from a lot of the other games. No, no. Oh no. Or later scores. Beat oh. well. Purdy has it in on the halfway line to find Haitian on the left hand side. Hereford with ten men now, with Elliot Richards having gone off with the Bulls having made all three of their changes, but they have got another six minutes of stoppage time to, to uh, try and haul themselves back into this. Obviously it looks very unlikely as Green chips one forward, Simmons the target, gets his head to it, but uh, Lance Smith qu can't quite latch onto the flick on, and Slough bring it away, so they've just looked, well the first half was, there was nothing in the first half until the referee injured himself, but since then Slough got themselves the two goals and have looked the better side by far in terms of keeping that two goal lead. Yeah, they restarted after that lengthy delay, they restarted as the best team and uh, took that lead into into the break and then they haven't looked back from there really, we've been second best for well, the majority of this second half I mean the, the possession we're enjoying is largely down to the fact that Slough have just sat back and are pretty comfortable with letting us knock the ball around and uh, we're not really damaging them, not causing any problems it was a knockdown here for Mills who tries to chop it to the right foot but crowded out. No chance for Jimmy Oates to shoot and score! Jimmy Oates scores! Out of nothing! Well, it's a collector's item. Jimmy Oates scores. It's slow to Hill from Wayne Hill from the 10 men have put one back. We've only had two and a half minutes of the seven added minutes. Well. What a strike, absolutely fantastic from, from Jimmy Oates there. It needed something of quality and uh, there we are. Is it game on or is it too late? Well, is it game on? What have we got? Five minutes, four and a half minutes of added time still to play. Slow two, Hereford one, eight of nothing. Hereford playing with ten men and captain Jimmy Oates has got his first goal of the season. He was pretty prolific in pre-season, scored in three or four of the friendlies. And Jimmy Oates has got his first league goal of the campaign. They don't normally come until the end of the season. This could be a big one now. The away fans, 650 plus, have made the trip. Suddenly, they're full of voice. Will Slough panic? Slough just hoik, hoik that one high and away. Well, it's given Hereford just something to cling on to here. About four minutes of stoppage time to go. Can Hereford force a second? This would be some fight back. Having looked down the night for so long. Green goes long. Headed away by Alan Inns. Well, Hereford might as well just push forward now. There's no, might as well lose three, one going for it. Then this game peter out with a two-one defeat. Hereford have dominated possession so for the last 15, 20 minutes, largely because Slough have let them and just sat back with the two-goal lead. But it's Hereford now on the front foot, sensing a miracle comeback here. Purdy finds Simmons on the right-hand side. Simmons trying to shepherd it towards the corner flag, but he's been dispossessed. And Slow bring it away calmly to the halfway line. Good work from Jimmy Oates, wanted it more. Jimmy Oates checks onto the right foot but shows too much of it to Togwell who calmly brings it out of defence. Togwell's continued his run and Haitian's won the ball. And uh, the referee who was behind play, who was behind Haitian, behind the challenge, possibly didn't see what we saw and it looked like Haitian got the ball. Yeah, that was rubbish from the referee. Don't go back, Jamie. Oh, see what you feel. Rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> he was in no position to see. I, I guess the one thing on, on in defence of the ref is potentially he would normally have looked to the linesman for, for some help, but obviously, understandably, he's not going to look over here. So, But he, he, he was looking through a crowd of players. He was the wrong side. There was no way on this earth whether he could have told whether Haitian Pe uh, got that ball or not. Two minutes of stoppage time to go. Hereford slam it forward. Good first touch from Mills. Little pirouette on the halfway line. Out to the right-hand side for Purdy. The away fans roll with Purdy on. Hereford playing with ten men, remember. Purdy looking for Smith, who holds it up. Togwell's in strongly. Lance Smith goes in. 
Slay bring it away though, but it's a poor pass straight to Ryan Green. Hereford with their tails up. Green is going on one of his runs. Haysham out to the right hand side for Purdy. Ryan Green is still forward. So is Simmons. Purdy's cross is decent. It's a chance at the back stick. It might fall for a foul. Um, what I'm calling at the moment a Salisbury moment <laughs> or a <laughs> fantastic Amberley moment wow, wow, wow. <laughs> incredible we've still got a minute of the seven added to go it's slow town Harryford town would you believe it Harryford have been dead and buried for so long never looked like getting back into this game but Jimmy Oates and Keon Raphael have scored in in stoppage time, of which there were seven added minutes, Hereford have been playing with ten men for the last quarter of an hour or so. But it's not over yet. Slow still has the extra man, and they're going to pull forward now with Warren Harris. Haysham's put a challenge, and it's a decent one. It's back with Togwell on halfway. Diagonal ball from him out to the right hand side. Well, Hereford has got to make sure they don't do anything silly now. Having done so much work in the last five minutes or so, a slow press on the right hand side. Down by the corner flag. Right wing cross will come in, is layered away, and it's smashed by John Mills. If only uh, Mike Simmons is up there, all eyes on the referee, of course, now. The replacement referee. We have now had seven of the seven added minutes, and it's a hurry for defensive throw. Is the away unbeaten League One going to become 51? Who would have believed this five minutes ago, ten minutes ago? That is in- absolutely incredible. I mean, up until the Jimmy Oates goal, we've shown absolutely nothing. We we haven't looked like scoring. Like I said, we could have gone seven hours without scoring. And then up popped Jimmy Oates with that goal. All of a sudden, uh, you know, the tempo just changed with, the, with that goal. And uh, wow, what character! It's character, it's all about it. Photo whistle goes! Unbelievable! Slow two, Hereford two. For the second away game in three, Hereford have scored twice in stoppage time. They earned them all three points at Chisholm. It's earned them the most unlikeliest of points here at promotion rival Slough. We came into this game thinking, well, it wasn't a must win game for us, it was a must win game for Slough. It was a must not lose for Hereford, and somehow, by hook or by crook, Hereford have not lost this game, and f- hardly anybody believes how that has happened. <laughs> well, absolutely dumbfounded. And ten men. Yeah, ten men. Ten yeah, men. Who needs eleven? You know, Elliot Richard <laughs> sat on the bench for all of that because of his Let's very, very quickly, let's just uh, have a bit of reality here. Let's take the other full-time scores, because yes. they're bound to be in. <laughs> The other yeah. scores from the south and west now. perspective, okay. Are we, are we, if I give you that, Frank, and then you okay. can follow them through. Okay. So the other scores, because obviously they finished some time ago. Uh, Banbury United 1, Hitchin Town 0. That's a good, uh, good one then, because Hitchin, of course, were in sixth place, but they lose. Uh, Basingstoke 3, Kettering Town 2. So league leaders Kettering lose 3-2 at Basingstoke. So... Uh, we're, we've still got the same that we're four games behind them, uh, but now, of course, it's only four points behind them. Biggleswade Town uh, 1, Froome Town 2. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, I, 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 I <laughs> I'm only you, looking at the I important thought, ones. I thought, oh, right, okay, sorry. I, th- I thought you were giving a commentary no, after no, no. each one, so I was giving you the time one. to do that. Um, Kingsland Town 3, Dorchester Town 0. So Kingsland go back top. Tonight, uh, Kings Langley uh, nil, St Ives Town three, Merthyr Town and Dunstable Town postponed, Redditch United seven, Farnborough one. There's that inconsistency from Farnborough again, going down seven one at Redditch. Uh, Royston Town five, Gosport Borough nil, St Neots Town two, Stratford Town two. Uh, Tiverton Town 1, Chesham United oh, 2. What a great result. Tiverton lose at home to Chesham. Uh, Weymouth 1, Bishop Stortford 1. That's a great result as well for Hereford. Weymouth, of course, in third place, but they played four games more than Hereford, and we are now only two points behind them. You know, sometimes a draw feels like a win. <laughs> well, yeah, it's like <laughs> certainly one of those, isn't it? I mean, it's fantastic, and, you know, the Kettering result going our way as well. It's... Uh, 
well you know that's the difference isn't it and uh, fantastic you say Frank great character because we, we all it's sat all here thinking we're dead buried it's not over till yeah. the fat lady yeah. sings exactly <laughs> or, or the, the whistle sounds or the fat lady <laughs> 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 the bones <laughs> whatever uh, I, I know because uh, we were we were all there we were frowning at each other we were getting yeah. ratty oh, with each other yeah. a few minutes ago you and whatever. For yourself, all of a sudden, no were you <laughs> <laughs> I just simply repeating things I hear on BBC Hereford and Worcester. Oh, right, okay. okay. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what a great, great afternoon. Just, just think, how many times now have Hereford done that? The character oh. of this squad, and, you know, the, the motivational powers of Pete Beadle and Steve Jenkins and Matt Bishop before, just, we will not be beaten on the road. In any circumstances, <laughs> seemingly, we can pull it out of the fire. I have to say, I have to say, if one was a neutral, you would say, I don't think we really deserve no, 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 that at all. You hold your hands up and say, we didn't deserve that. But, no, not no. I mean, well, in a way we did, because, you know, we never gave up. And uh, that's, you yeah, know, fantastic exactly. character yeah. from the players. Because we, we really were dead and buried. We didn't look at the races and... You know, we just didn't look like we were, well, interested at times. And, uh, you know, uh, everything we tried to do, Sly were strong and, and very quickly had players on us in midfield, stopped us. And amazingly, you've had to broadcast for nearly an extra three quarters of an hour, yeah. and we still got battery. How long have we got? Fifty-six percent. You know, amazing. <laughs> what what, pe what Beads will inevitably say is, you know, Slayer scored from two headers, two poor pieces of defending. Has Martin also made a lot of saves either side of that? Not really, and I'm right. sure Pete yeah. Beadle will make that point. One full very time. good save at the foot of the post. That's yeah. all I can remember. I think he's, yeah, Beadle will be disappointed in the manner that we conceded both those goals. Really, the first one was that deflected cross that we we didn't react to, and the second one, I'm, not, I'm still not quite sure. It it started out here on the right hand side in front of us, and no one challenging it. Allowed a ball to be put into that box, and the, the marking was non-existent. So yeah, Beads won't be happy with the way that we defended for those two goals. He'll, as I say, probably say that. Porter's has had very little to do other than that but uh, you know I think in an attacking sense up until the Jimmy Oates equaliser we, we had absolutely nothing and you know we, we looked slow and lethargic at times um, but didn't that change with Oates' equaliser incredible that's a real captain's goal wasn't it <laughs> yeah yeah. <when laughs> because it was, and that was totally out of the blue yeah uh, and, and but of course Slower at that point had gone into a, uh, a game management mode yeah. uh, and after that, they they couldn't change things really, and and, and w allowed us to pour forward even with our nine outfield players. And uh, you know what it's like. You're always going to get another chance, aren't you, of yeah. some sort, even if it's a long range one. But I mean, that's uh, oh, well. I remember, incredible. you know, we, we we had a good bit of play before the the equaliser, and uh, with Pring for the really poor cross behind the goal, and and you just think there, well, it's, that sums up our our day. You know, nothing. Well, you said go it. You said oh, that's dreadful. Yeah. That well, was it was really poor, yeah. really poor, but yeah, you know, Jimmy just stepping into the 18-yard box, the first time he's done it all game and, and literally let rip and uh, fantastic strike. Well, I'm afraid now, Jobs, we've got to go again on Tuesday night. It's probably you and me on Tuesday night, Jamie. Where, where are we on Tuesday? Stratford. <laughs> down the road from me. Yeah. It's a nice, oh, yeah. one, nice one for me, a nice uh, amble down to Stratford-on-Avon uh, on a balmy Tuesday afternoon, and, you know. A drink, a pint by the river, looking at the swans. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> we'll be there. Joni will be there. I will be there. Greg won't, but I think Mark, Mark Hammond will no, be back next Saturday. On, uh, yeah. on that. And we'll see you next Saturday, next Saturday at Wildstone. My goodness, the journey's just continue. And the Tuesday then after that, we're at Gosport. That's a lovely trip. For uh, Portsmouth way, isn't it? Yeah, 171 miles for me, about 146 for you lot yeah. on a Tuesday night. That's great, isn't it, really? But we'll find our way there somehow. Right, I, I'd just like to say, I, lo I did like the warning sign about, please note that footballs and rugby balls may occasionally stray into the spectator area. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit worried about the rugby ball straying into the... <laughs> it's sort of, if they stray, they sort of accidentally move. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, look, from... Um, we're elated here. It's at crazy. Yeah. Bar uh, we're, it's absolutely crazy. But uh, we're going to say goodbye to you all now, and thanks very much for listening wherever you are in the world. And if you're anything like us, you're going to go out and get a nice hot toddy of something, followed by a couple of pints, Jamie, <laughs> <laughs> to celebrate what feels like an away win. <laughs> that would do a lot of damage to Slay. I mean, it was must yeah, win yeah, for them. Yeah, it was must yeah. not lose for us. Yeah. Um, 
that will really hurt. Them. Hard to recover yeah, from a, that. The man, like you say, it feels for us like a, a win. It's going to feel like a massive loss for it them. It is going to, yeah. There's three right. draws, two, three draws in four because for Snowden. Because actually, yeah. in playing time for 85 minutes, they absolutely bossed that. Yeah. Absolutely bossed it. Anyway, we'll say to to you all now and catch up with you again on Tuesday night from Stratford, where we'll be there. Uh, 7.45 kickoff will go on air at 7.30, hopefully with electricity. Bye for now.